I publicly um, villainized Andy Wakefield. And I actually knew the story behind Andy Wakefield at the time. What and was I that was story? Like, the story behind him is that, um, you know, he was he was the doctor you'll hear. He was publicly shamed. His license was removed. He he published an article about what what he called toxic nodular enterocolitis in children with autism. He was a gastroenterologist, a very high level, very well respected, decorated gastroenterologist, and he published this paper, which remained in the journal for 12 years. And all it said at the end was further research needs to be um, done in order to see if there is any real connection between the MMR vaccine autism and toxic nodular enterocolitis. These kids suffer with horrible bowel disease. It's not just brain disease. And so after he was about to publish another paper showing that in this certain type of monkeys that were vaccinated against hepatitis B lost a lot of their reflexes and had problems. And it was on the eve of the publication of that paper that his original paper was revoked. And ever since then, he has been the poster child for vaccine um, nonsense, for anti-vax crazy people. And in fact, every time I've done anything, his name, funny that I brought his name up. I love him. He's a great guy. But uh, his name would always come up. Well, you, you're a friend of Andy Wakefield. Or, no, Andy Wakefield, because autism and vaccines has been um, – you know, debunked because Andy Wakefield lied. He didn't lie. All he said is, I did biopsies, I saw this, and this is possibly a connection. And since then, other scientists have come in, done the same thing, biopsies. Then they looked at whether the vaccine virus was in that biopsy, and it was. It wasn't a wild virus. It was the vaccine virus in that area, not the surrounding area. So there is a relationship between gut disease, MMR vaccine, retained, you know, virus that hasn't been processed properly because it didn't come into your body properly, and disease, brain disease. So that's a fact. But CNN did a hit job on Andy Wakefield, and I remember going, huh, 